When we started making personal finance videos on YouTube two years ago, we thought we were just going to dominate the entire space. There were so few channels dedicated to finance, we thought our channel would just explode. It turns out without that community already established on YouTube, we had a hard time getting any traction. It's not that people weren't enjoying our videos, it's just that there weren't a lot of people on YouTube looking for finance related content. When we started filming our DIY projects, we had a choice. We could either continue posting everything on one channel or start a second channel just dedicated to DIY stuff. We decided to put it all on one channel and that has been one of the best decisions we've made. Since YouTube didn't have anywhere to recommend our financial videos, we were kind of on our own to drive all of our own traffic to YouTube. But by expanding into the DIY category, suddenly YouTube is now recommending our videos, which are bringing people to the channel, and then they're finding our financial videos. I don't know how many comments we have on how many videos of people saying, found you through the sawhorse video, or found you through the pencil sharpener, or found you through the folding extension cord organizer, and I'm so happy to see that you have financial advice as well. So if you find that your videos are in a category that's not really popular on YouTube, try expanding your reach just a little bit into one of the genres that are really popular on YouTube, like beauty, gaming, tech reviews, DIY videos, pranks, top 10 lists, or science. Don't cave and be someone that you're not, just be aware that those topics already have large audiences.